So I wanted to do a video about imposter syndrome, uh, like what it is and how to overcome it, because I feel a lot of people struggle with it, even me to some extent, especially when you're putting yourself out there in any, any form, like on video, looking for copywriting clients or something else. But great, I'm nice. Where I live, just out on a bit of a walk. And yeah, so imposter syndrome, it's something that holds a lot of people back from one, even starting something in the first place, and two, this feeling of inadequacy, like when you are completely up and running and doing something great, and, and when you're trying to start something. So it's like a double-edged sword. <clears throat> and I'll give you a bit of an example of imposter syndrome, and this might resonate with you, but, you know, I, it took me a long time to get over the fear of putting myself out there on this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channels because I was always scared of what other people would think. And it kind of relates to imposter syndrome because this fear of inadequacy, like you are not enough, like is so deadly. And I would record videos, like script videos because I wanted them to be absolutely perfect and I wouldn't share them unless they were absolutely perfect. And even when I did share them, because they were, I thought they were perfect, I still thought they were shit. I was going to be judged then. And then what I realized over time was that whatever videos and stuff that I shared, people were always going to judge me, no matter what, for the good or for the bad. So over time, I feel like I've developed a bit of a thicker skin for dealing with imposter syndrome, because I don't think it's something that ever just disappears and goes away. I think we all deal with it to some extent. So it was a fly in my face. Um, but it's just understanding how to manage it better. So, like, depending on where you are now, you might be somebody just looking at getting started with something, be it copywriting or something else. And you may lack <clears throat> the self-belief in yourself to get started. Maybe you don't feel like you've got enough confidence or maybe you don't feel like you've got enough skills to do something. Maybe you feel like, oh, I can't start reaching out to potential clients because I'm not good enough. I haven't started writing yet. I have a portfolio. I haven't done any paid copywriting work. Like, what happens if they find me out? What happens if they find me out for the person I really am? <clears throat> and this is a fear that everybody has, literally. It's just how well you manage it, right? Um, <clears throat> and the more and more you recognize this, the more and more you can kind of learn to deal with it and put your mind at ease. So a lot of people won't start reaching out to look for clients in the copywriting space because, especially beginners, because they feel inadequate. They feel like they aren't enough, which is complete bullshit. Like it's so wrong. Um, that's how you get experience in the game. Like you could sit and study and learn all there is to do about copywriting, but until you actually get some skin in the game, get some paid work and get some clients, you aren't moving forward anyway, really. And this is kind of a barrier you have to just get over. And it's something that is developed by stepping outside your comfort zone and understanding that everybody faces this stuff, right? Everybody faces it, even me still, even me making this video now, the thought that's running in the back of my head that is like, God, is this even a good piece of YouTube content? Like, are people even going to find this useful? Or am I literally just making video for video's sake while I'm out walking? <clears throat> like, what are people even thinking? And I'm still going to share this, whatever. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm going to share it. And if people like it, they like it. Um, the more and more I've done this, the less and less fucks I actually give. Like, I think that's also something to note as well with imposter syndrome. You develop this mind shift that's like look people are gonna like your stuff and some people are not that's just the reality of life you don't want to be vanilla and try and please everyone don't be a people pleaser but if you are struggling with imposter syndrome just know that feeling of inadequacy is it's not true like say for example you put a piece of content out or you do a great piece of work for a client right and inside <clears throat> you're full of joy and happiness and like, oh my God, I'm stoked to see all these comments. I'm stoked with the feedback. But I can almost guarantee there's another thought that runs in the back of your mind that's like, 
shit, what happens if this person finds me out, like, and uncovers me and, f and figures out I'm not the person that all these comments and this work are suggesting? Like, it's just like this false fallacy that you aren't the person you say you are or you're trying to hide something. Like, it's a really hard thing to get over. It's not easy at all. But I feel everybody struggles with this at some point in feeling inadequate, be it on YouTube, starting a project, in a relationship, anything. Like, you get this imposter syndrome. Unless you are just like this super, super confident person that doesn't have anything like that, but I'm, I'm fairly sure that doesn't exist. Like, at the end of the day, we're all human, right? We all face very similar challenges in different forms. It's just how we learn to process it, adapt and overcome. Um, and that's, I guess, one good way to beat imposter syndrome I've found is being around people who lift you up, people who are on the same level as you, higher up, and even maybe slightly behind you, and are learning from you. And you can teach them something, which also gives you confidence because you're helping somebody, as well as being helped by others around you. It's one of the reasons why I started that school community, the copywriting school community, to give people accountability, support, mentorship, everything to, to beat imposter syndrome as a byproduct. So it was not really a, a training inside the community on how to beat imposter syndrome, but I feel as a byproduct of being in a community like that, you will beat it faster and become a better person and a better copywriter because you'll learn how to communicate better. You'll build your self-esteem, your self-worth, everything. I mean, it doesn't have to be my school community. It could be somebody else's could be a, a mastermind group in person, friends that who are also doing something similar to you or on the same wavelength as you. Surround yourself with good people. Cut negative people out, toxic people, people who don't help you get to the next level. Don't spend your energy on those people. And at the same time, for me, I'm out on my own right now because for me, I have to spend some time on my own to decompress from just life in general. But hope that little tidbit was useful. I'm gonna enjoy nature for a bit because it's pretty cool this. But um, yeah.